Photos with disturbing backstories. This is a photo of Judith Dole. Harvey Glattman, a known serial killer in the 1950s, would pose as a professional photographer. It was known he'd hang around modeling agencies and contact women with professional opportunities. Once lured into the apartment, he would rape them, strangle them, and then take photos before killing them. The photo behind me looks pretty normal, right? As you might be able to tell, this man was impersonating a cop, but that's not why he was arrested. Before this photo was taken, he killed 77 people. He set up bombs which killed 8 people and injured 250. He then went to a camp that was on an island and opened fire. He shot anything that moved. Since he was dressed as a police officer, all the kids would run to him for help, only to be shot. <laughs> photo behind me looks pretty normal, right? If you're in the military, you know exactly where this is going, and if you're not in the military, you might also know where this is going. The man on the right took the 4chan and said, I just got out of Navy SEAL training, rate my girlfriend. Everyone in the comments were telling him she is totally cheating on him. While in denial, Selena Green Vargas was doing exactly that in some pretty terrible ways, which included money. These are some creepy photos with even creepier backstories. These are Victorian post-mortem portraits. But what if I told you the people in these photos were dead? This would often happen when people wanted one last memory of a loved one when they passed away before they had the funeral. So they would dress up their loved one's dead body and then invite round an artist to then paint the dead body, and sometimes it will have been dead for days. Here is a picture of a man named Robert Overacker, seconds before his death. To raise some money to combat homelessness, Robert was gonna ride Niagara Falls on a jet ski, and then when it got to the waterfall, he was gonna jump off, pull a parachute, and then fall to the water safely. But things didn't quite go to plan. Robert's parachute didn't open, and he died on impact, hitting the water below. When you hit water at such a speed, it supposedly feels like concrete. Are you ready for the third picture? I'm gonna give you a little bit of a backstory first. John Wayne Gacy was a serial killer that killed 33 young boys and men. And this is a photo of him as a toddler holding a gun in each hand, obviously blurred for TikTok, but an eerie foreshadowing of what he was gonna grow up to do. Welcome to Creep Time on TikTok with Silas Dean. Today we're looking at three seemingly normal pictures with dark backgrounds. Number one, at first glance, this kind of looks like just any other normal family picture around the holidays. Until you take a closer look at the father and see a hand on his shoulder that seemingly does not belong to anyone in this picture. Initially thought to be an optical illusion and that the arm here actually belongs to the boy in the middle, he later comes forward and says that he did not have his right arm around anyone, making the hand seen in this picture a chilling mystery. Number two, this picture seen here here looks like any other normal portrait, maybe of a couple in the early 1900s. But to fuel the horror, this is actually a 
post-mortem photograph, and the woman seen here is not alive in this photo. Post-mortem photography was actually a common cultural practice, even through the early 1900s, where a deceased loved one was dressed and staged and then posed with their family or spouse for one final photo. Number three, you might skim past this shot as just any other normal picture of maybe two college-aged guys at a party, but this is actually a photo of Tyler Hardley after he just killed his parents. Just three hours after brutally murdering his parents with a hammer in the upstairs bedroom, he throws a party at his house with the bodies hidden upstairs. Guests at the party had absolutely no idea, making this picture terrifying in context. Normal looking photos that have a disturbing backstory. This photo looks like any other selfie from a house party, but this man is actually Tyler Hadley, who threw a party after he unalived both his parents and put their bodies in the master bedroom. This might seem like a normal photo of a violin, but it once belonged to Wallace Hartley, who played it as the Titanic was sinking. At that point, he knew that they were all going to drown, so he was playing the violin to calm people down. This violin was later found in the ocean inside of a case, then was sold for $1.6 million. Now this might seem like a guy smiling in front of a house or a cabin of some sort, but he's actually holding the nuclear core of an atomic bomb, specifically the one that was dropped on Nagasaki in 1945, which ended up unaliving about 80,000 people. Follow if you want to see a part two. Normal looking photos with disturbing backstories. Now this photo just looks like two men smiling at each other, but the reality is much more disturbing. Their names are actually Richard Hickok and Perry Smith, who unalived a family of four. But the scary part about this photo is, it was taken right after they heard they were being sentenced to death. This might look like a normal photo of a father and his daughter, but if you look closer, you'll see this red car. And almost right after this photo was taken, the bomb hidden inside the car exploded unaliving about 30 people and injuring hundreds in the Oma bombing. Mm. 